So Janelle, from uh, you know one of the one of the areas that we could debate for a long mm -hmm. time is the use of induction therapy, mm -hmm. and I just want to kind of get your perspective from a best practice point of view. Mm -hmm. What are what are situations you would you would consider it? Mm -hmm. Why would you consider it? Those mm -hmm. sorts of things. Yeah. So in particular, patients with marginal performance status, and in those patients, you may be worried: can they tolerate the chemotherapy and radiation therapy? And I think it's very reasonable in that setting to start the patient on chemotherapy, see how they do. And in turn, keep in communication with your radiation oncology team so that maybe by cycle two, um, they can start the, the radiation along with the chemotherapy. The other area where I think chemotherapy can be valuable is somebody who has bulky disease. Um, you know, you want to try to maybe shrink down the radiation field. Our radiation technology, our radiation approaches have significantly improved over time, but anything that we can do to get the margins uh, a little bit better potentially and also reduce the dose that's needed from the radiation standpoint it can be very valuable um, for our patients and helping them to get through and tolerate the chemotherapy and radiation therapy together. I'm pretty lucky our radiation oncologists are pretty quick at getting their uh, plans together but in patients who are symptomatic or have large volumes I do give them some chemotherapy up front. So from the chemotherapy standpoint, I think we have lots of options out there for our patients and doing things like looking at their comorbidities, looking at patient wishes can help us choose these therapies a little bit better for our patients. And also the other thing to consider for our patients is if you have somebody with bulky disease, if you think there's any potential delays in getting them to radiation therapy, maybe you have logistical issues that you, you need to overcome depending on your location, is that certainly chemotherapy followed by the chemoradiation therapy is going to be something to certainly consider.